Dogs and Kyle are getting a second chance at adoption. The Paws Shelter of Central Texas relaunched a training program, but the dog trainers are not who you might expect. KVU's Rebecca Trejo spoke with the inmates who spent eight weeks with a shelter dog. No, that's not the usual sound you hear in these walls, but for the last eight weeks, these dogs have made residence here. And Monday is their last day. Inmates and shelter dogs are graduating from the cell dog program at the Kyle Correctional Facility. I didn't think that I would learn as much. James Guzman applied to care for an animal and spent 24-7 with Pantera. She's rambunctious. She, she's, <laughs> she can be a bit stubborn. The four-year-old shelter dog was a couple days from being put down before the paws of Central Texas and Kyle placed her in the program. Guzman is here for evading arrest and knows about second chances. I can relate the dogs to convicts. We messed up. We made some mistakes in our lives. These dogs necessarily didn't make mistakes in their lives, but mistakes were made maybe by who owned them originally. Pantera is getting a forever home. Melody Camacho, a correctional officer at the prison, is giving Pantera that second chance. She's different from all the other dogs, and I just got that gut feeling. I clicked with her. Though Guzman will have to say goodbye, I'm bummed. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little sad. Like, yeah, I'm a little sad. He says he's learned life lessons from his time training Pantera. Patience. Like all things come, all things take time. All things, you know, you can be, you really have to be patient with it. In Kyle, Rebecca Trejo, KVU News. That is sweet. And if you would like to donate to the Cell Dog Program or you'd like to adopt one of the dogs, we have a link to the Paws Shelter of Central Texas on KVU.com.